In uh, this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can configure a bridge between your wired and your wireless network. By the end of this lecture, we'll be able to make a master and slave internet ports. We'll be able to make a bridge between our wired and our wireless network. And then if we, if we are going to make a test if the lab is done correctly. So if I want to make a small explanation here, this is what we have uh, as a graph for this lab also. It's the same as the previous one. So what we have done in the previous uh, lab, we have received an IP address to this Ethernet port from our ISP. Okay, then uh, this router had here it, uh, internet service. Okay, we have tried uh, to ping and it was working without any problem. And then what we uh, have done actually, we have created from this side here a, a DHCP server. We have created NAT and of course we have created the Wi Fi, the wireless network. Then in this case, we could distribute the, the internet via wireless and then this PC was connected getting an IP from uh, the router, so connected to the wireless, getting an IP from the DHCP server, and then when it sends the traffic to the router, the router makes snap, and then it goes to the internet. What is the bridge? Let me just explain to you what is the bridge here. Say you have, uh, in this case here, we said that we have the wired network, which is this network from here, on the Ethernet one, so that's the wired by cable, okay? This is the wired network. And then we had also the wireless that we have created here. That's the wireless. Okay. So instead of doing on the wireless, like what we have done, putting an IP on WLAN 1, and then DHCP, and then NAT. So meaning that we have an IP here on this Ethernet 1, which is different than the IP on the WLAN 1 and also the IP are different than the one which we receive it here on the PC from the wireless. So what we can do is instead of doing all those steps, what we can do is just like to make a bridge. A bridge is what? It's like the wired and the wireless network. So two different technologies will be like a one port, it's like one port. Okay, that means that both of them they will be under the bridge port, which is representing them. And in this case, we don't need any more to put the IP on WLAN 1. The IP will be on the bridge, actually. And also on Ethernet 1, it will be on the bridge, the IP. And then we don't need any more to do the DHCP. We don't need to do any more the, the NAT. And then in this case, the PC over here will get wirelessly an IP address from directly from the ISP. So the ISP will give the IP right away to the PC here. So this router here will be like more like a transparent bridge. Okay. This is really what we need to do. So in, in other words to say that the Ethernet, all wired ports and the wireless will be like a one network. So first we need to check our previous configuration on the router. And the previous configuration we have done on the router is the same actually than in the last lecture number two. Okay. So I'll have to go and uh, log into the router. And this is my router. I'm now connected also wirelessly, as you can see here, to lab two tests. So I'm still uh, on the same lab, of uh, on the same connectivity of previous lab. Okay. So if I look here, I have uh, the wireless is here. I have the security profile, which I have created is still here. IP addresses, we have one on Ethernet received automatically and one we set it manually on WLAN one. Okay. And we have the DHCP server here that we have created and that's on the interface of WLAN one. And this is the network we were using 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And finally we have the NAT that we have created. Okay. So these are the things that we have already done on the previous slide. So check the previous configuration on the router that has been done. Now, we have to start on point number two, making the changes so we can make the bridge, okay? Make Ethernet 1 as a master port and Ethernet 2, 3 and 4 as slave to Ethernet 1. If I go back to here, so normally the MicroTik router over here, it has three ports, Ethernet 1, 2, 3 and 4. One is the one with, where, which is here connected to the ISP and receiving an IP to the ISP. Now two, three and four 
are ports standing doing nothing. This one is where my computer is connected to it, just to make a connectivity to troubleshoot the router, okay? So what I need to do now is I want to make port number one as the master port, okay? And then ports number two, three, and four, they become like a slave to port number one. That means that number one will be like the leader of those ports. He will be representing them anywhere. And then we were going to use it to be representing them inside the bridge in a moment. So this will be the master, those will be the slave. I will stop here and we continue the lab in the upcoming video.